G'day, it's Rudy from Better Music. I'm here with another new toy. I shouldn't call it a toy, but it's another keyboard, and there's lots of good ones coming out at the moment, and this is no exception. Uh, this is the new Korg D1. It's a really compact, portable um, digital piano. Could probably call it a, it's, we should probably call it a stage piano. Uh, this is setting a, a new sort of genre uh, in the digital piano market in the category that, that it's in because it doesn't have speakers on board. And oh, shock horror. Well, we shouldn't say shock horror because this is designed for a, a particular application. There are plenty of digital pianos on the market that if you just want to play piano at home and you want to have a nice piano and have it go through the speakers, there's lots of great ones you can buy. And I mean, this will do that job as well if you want to play on headphones or if you want to hook up some external speakers. But this piano has been geared in a, in a pretty specific way, I think. And I think we've got a quality instrument. And one of the, the outstanding features of this piano is that it features Korg's RH3 uh, key action or keybed, which is actually a Japanese made keybed. And it is their absolute premium keybed. So it's the same keybed you find in the top of the range, you know, 88 note Kronos from Korg, which is a, you know, a world class machine. And none of their other digital pianos, certainly not in the price that this ha is at, ha have got this keybed. So if you're after, a, you know, a really high quality action and you need something that's portable, it's 16 kilos. Uh, it's not the lightest of these small pianos, but 16 is not too heavy considering you've got the absolute top class action in this piano. So what have we got? Well, we've got um, a portable piano, as we've discussed. We've got traditional stereo left and right output. So if you're doing a gig, obviously you're getting the correct sound out of it. Um, sustain pedal, of course. You don't have USB MIDI and shock horror. No, no shock horror. You've got proper MIDI on the, on the back. So if you're doing a gig and you might have some other gear, you can plug MIDI out from this into another keyboard and control another keyboard. If you want to plug it in your computer, of course, you can buy a pretty inexpensive uh, USB MIDI interface to connect and, you know, Bob's your uncle, you can do whatever you need to do with your computer. But we've got on board 30 um, high quality sounds and we've got a nice palette of sounds to choose from. We've got six different acoustic pianos, that was number one. We'll go through, I'll just go through and show you a couple of the other sounds. So we had piano concert number one, let's try number two now. And also number three, which is a bit brighter. So everything you need in terms of acoustic pianos. What Korg do really well, and I think you'll find there might be some of you out there that are thinking of this piano because you do want to take it to a gig and you want some pretty cool sounds on board, Really good electric pianos. Korg have always done really good electric piano sounds and this um, D1 is no exception. So let's have a check out some of those. So nice sort of Fender Road sound. There's a couple others. There's actually six as well. So that's three in the first setting. There's the your e piano two, so three different versions in there as well.
So, you know, they're really good. And, and I mean, in, in this type of piano, again, it's portable, uh, great action. There's 30 sounds. So there's not a truckload of sounds, but there's enough to, to, you know, to do a simple gig with. And of course, with the proper MIDI connections, you can just directly plug in external additional equipment, other keyboards, another keyboard on top. You know, the sky's the limit. Let's go through a few more things. As I said, there's not a hundred million features on this piano. It's, it's just simple but high quality and, and most importantly, really high quality keyboard to play on. So you've got harpsichord. Well, that wasn't harpsichord, this is. So clavinet, of course. So pretty cool. Uh, we've also got oh, things like vibe. Got a guitar sound as well. Well, not all keyboards have got a guitar sound. This has got one. You've got organ sounds as well. Now you can layer the sounds of course as well, so let's go to like a nice string sound for instance. String pad sound and we can just add a piano into that. So let's just recap, we've got the new Korg D1, uh, 16 kilo ultra compact quality digital piano featuring their Japanese made RH3 keyboard. So a really firm, uh, real, yeah, it's a real player's keyboard. You can really get stuck into it and, and it's, it's very robust to say the least. We've got 30 onboard sounds, we've got proper stereo line outs, we've got proper MIDI connections so you connect other keyboards. You can of course get a USB interface if you want to plug straight into your computer, they're not expensive. We've got brightness control on each sound, we've got reverb, we've got chorus. That's pretty much it. Oh, we've got a metronome, of course, as well. So if you want to practice along, we can. So we've got a piano that does a whole bunch of things, not too many, in a really simple way, high quality feel. You do with it what you wish. You want to connect it to your computer? You can. You want to go and do a gig? You want to connect extra keyboards? You can. So I think they've sort of set a new category this piano because it's a little bit unlike a lot of other pianos on the market and I think it could catch on because there's a lot of people that would just want a really high quality keyboard and they're going to use other equipment with it as well or they might just do a simple gig or a simple church service or anything of the kind and want to just take a piano yes it's got piano electric piano strings that, that's all I need fantastic so all in all a great new product from Korg very excited to see it any questions give us a call in the shop or come and see us or check it out online we'll see you next time